Shooting someone in the legs does more damage than the body, and other myths that might be surprisingly true. But first, our sponsor. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank our sponsor, xplay.gg. xplay runs a set of CSGO servers, one of which is bots. Bots is essentially a deathmatch with three levels of difficulty. Medium level is good for newer players or more relaxed time with bots that have a 650 millisecond aim speed. Hard level bots have a 450 millisecond aim time. And for players looking for an extreme challenge, cheater bots have a 350 millisecond aim speed, which is incredibly challenging. These servers are actually very interesting as the bots don't play anything like bots you would typically expect, they won't shoot you in the back, you've got advanced stats if you hold down E, and there are even challenges on their website where you can earn free skins. The first myth is that pulling the pin on your flashbang makes noise, which it doesn't. It's actually the release and then you can quick switch that makes noise. Except for with T-side Molotovs that do make noise when you hold the pin. This one is actually insanely effective because if you do it like this, <laughs> not, not quite like that. <laughs> By like this, I mean if you release the flash, then instantly press G before it actually throws. It'll make the noise and it'll look like a flashbang is being thrown for someone looking at you as you're doing it. It's not that easy though. <laughs> The next one is seeing someone on the radar through a door. Oh, I couldn't see you on radar. Which he can't. And flashes that are too far away don't actually blind your opponents, which they don't. And although long is weird, this is very noticeable mid on Mirage. You may not have even realized why you died. Then... Pulling the silencer off of your M4 is supposed to make the gun shorter. You can see here, the silencer is sticking out, super easy kill. Whereas if he removes the silencer, the gun is less accurate, but you can't see the tip of the gun. That sounds so whack, dude. Next is nade smoke, which is something people don't realize is kind of busted if you watch from both perspectives here. Holy shit, it's super good. And some people think different mollies do different amounts of damage, which they used to do, but no longer do. This one is really interesting, is shooting them in the legs does more damage. And this is very relevant on pistol rounds when someone's diffusing with their back turn. You're not hitting them in the head. It's about eight shots with the USP to the body to kill them. However, if you shoot them in the legs, the legs don't have armor. And so it's four or five shots. That is massively more effective. And it's way easier. The problem is it, you look like an idiot trying to shoot them in the legs oh, in that's a real a lot more game. more than four shots. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so Connector. in con on the right. Well, I hit him in four shots in the legs. Killed but it him. does work. It does work. I misclick. Why? Misclick. Hold on. Bro, the <laughs> legs. I literally, <laughs> this guy was <laughs> fucking <laughs> top mid. I four shot at him in the legs. <laughs> it made his fall emanation. I literally gave this guy 115 and four from window to top mid boxes. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Next up is that nades can one-shot people, which is technically true, but uh, it's extremely hard to actually do intentionally. And while testing ground. this, I found out that nades that land higher do more damage. to 51. And then if I land it high, I gotta dunk it on them. Which makes logical sense that nades that land at the feet are losing some of their yeah, usage. So 54 but is the highest damage. I'm not sure there. too many people know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely do more damage. Next up is you're more accurate at the peak of your jump, which you can clearly see here, especially when I slow it down. And the following is that you are fully accurate with the scout while no scoping which isn't the case. However, you are pretty damn accurate. And as it turns out, it doesn't look like you can get a uh, 
a decoy to glitch squeaky doors very easily, if at all, although that one is one to prove in a later video. And we also discovered that it's very hard to land two Molotovs on top of one opponent. Next up is chickens can block a flashbang, which is extremely hard to do intentionally. This is more of an accidental thing, but it is actually completely true. Just extremely hard. And also you can nade fish in the pond and most of them will all die. Next up is the shotgun doesn't have random spread. And although there is randomness in the actual spread of each bullet, the spread itself isn't random. And with shotguns, it can be more effective to not aim at the head. In fact, aiming slightly off of the player is the optimal way to kill people with certain shotguns which is kind of dumb, to be honest. It's really dumb. But they are pretty strong, though. Pressing E on chickens will make them follow you. In fact, it'll bring them into the next round. But I recommend everyone kill all chickens on Inferno. And jumping up and down, you won't make noise after the second jump. You're, only, you're not hearing my jumps here, are you? Yeah, jump better, bro. But you have to do it right, usually with scroll wheel. Yeah, that's right. Following right. is that nades can block damage, which yeah, is completely right. true. A little bit lower. But hard to do intentionally as well. <sighs> Fake flashes ass. Following as you walk faster with your knife, you can see with the Glock is 124, knife 130, auto sniper 111, it is noticeably different. And after that, you're fully accurate while crouch walking, which is something people don't know. It's not even about crouching, it's about the velocity. If you're moving a very slow speed while standing, you're also fully accurate. Smoke's mask diffuse sounds is another myth. Well, it doesn't mask the sound, but you're not. Old school players think this, but it's not true. And opponents can block flashbangs. You would think if chickens can, opponents also can, but they can't. And diffusing gives you more money. Actually, being the diffuser gives you an extra 300. And diffusing the bomb itself as a winning round does also give your entire team slightly more money. The bomb can kill you on B on Inferno. It'll do one damage if you have armor, but it will kill you if you don't have armor and you have one health. And decoys can create one ways inside of smokes. It doesn't happen every time, but it can happen. And I've seen this used at the pro level. Different nades make different sounds on the wall. Can you hear a difference between smokes and flashes? I think I can hear it. Bomb explosion does more damage to the back. This one, plenty of people have already disproven, but it doesn't. 16 damage to the front. 16 damage to the back. The bomb will do more damage to you if you have no armor, and it's actually a lot more damage. Twice as much. Pulling out your knife makes noise. It doesn't. And swiping makes noise, which it does. Two mollies do more damage than one, which is true. It's actually significant. The problem is... How do you get two mollies to land on one person? It's not very easy, as you'll see. You do melt them extremely fast. 
but we had to bribe this guy to let him do it. Next up, opening the door backwards is something you can actually do intentionally. Either oh, that works better than ever. by having your teammate look the opposite direction as you press it, or standing in front of it. And doing a really good fake flash isn't that Yo, easy. Fake flash, fake flash. And finally, silent jumps exist. They actually don't. There is no such thing as a silent jump. The jumping sound makes a noise. On the outside. And the landing sound makes another noise. So although you can jump almost silently, there is no such thing as a fully silent jump. Just a quick addition, I saw a professional player once say that you can't see shadows if you're scoped in, which is true, but only if your shadow settings are on low, which they shouldn't be. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope this helped.